Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another tile saw review video. This will be a comprehensive review of the Delta Cruiser 7 inch tile saw as well as the gravity folding stand. Now this is a new tile saw on the market and without a doubt it will be a game changer. Now this saw, as you can see, looks very similar to the Lockmon Beast. Now Delta manufactured the Lockmon Beast for the last four years. And this is the new version called the Delta Cruiser. This is very similar to the Beast, but with a number of improvements. And we will go over all of the improvements in this video. But the big hitter is this saw is a fraction of the price of what the Beast was retailed for. So like I said before, not only do I have the seven inch version, I also have the amazing gravity stand specifically designed for the seven inch Delta Cruiser. Now with the seven inch Delta Cruiser, along with a 24 inch ripping capacity, along with a gravity stand like this, which the DeWalt D24000 does not offer, can easily compete with the DeWalt, one of the most popular tile saws on the market. So what we're gonna do on part one of this comprehensive review of the Delta Cruiser is super simple. Unbox it, assemble the saw, assemble the gravity stand, bring the camera up close, show you all of the details and improvements, talk about the improvements, and of course, take it outside, show you how it works, show you how it cuts. We will miter cut hard porcelain, we will cut half inch porcelain, stone, ceramic, glass, you name it. Let's jump right into it, unbox and assemble, here we go. Here we have our main frame and our tray. Here's our seven inch Delta blade. Extension trays. The main table, material feels great already. The new and improved motor. Water pump and fence for diagonal cuts. Let's put it together. The saw is all assembled, everything feels great, great quality. Let's bring the camera up close and show you everything in detail. Here are your water nozzles. Now they do feel like they move a lot better and easier than the Beast. It has a new and improved sort of clip holder up here to hold this into place and to protect it. The saw has a plunge option, as well as a 45 and 22 and a half for bevel or miter cuts. Here is your extension table for large format tile. Right here you have your extension table for water containment. Let's spin the saw around and show you the other side. Here you have your very large and wide arm for your cutting capacity. The cutting capacity is diagonally 18 by 18 and rips up to 24 inches, which is top of his class for a seven inch here. Here we have our water valve shut off for the pump. Now one big thing to mention, one big improvement is the air intake. Now the air intake on the Beast was located underneath the motor with fins. The new air intake is located on top of the motor to allow more breathability. One more improvement that helps this saw not get as messy as the Beast are these grooves. The grooves are larger allowing more water to flow down into the bottom of the tray and not off the tray. And I've got to point out, the tray feels wonderful. 
no slop, smooth rails, feels like quality. Let's quickly assemble the gravity stand. Well, here we go, guys. I did not want to bore you with assembly for the gravity stand. I've got to say this is one beautiful looking tile saw, especially being on this gravity stand. Now it's time to attach the tile saw to the gravity stand as it will always be attached and we'll show you why in a moment. Is one of the best parts of this saw, the amazing gravity stand, high-end gravity stand, much better than the cobalt. Let's fill the saw with water, plug it in, and make some cuts. Here we go. Five gallons of water. Let's turn it on. one powerful motor. Our first cut will be an 18 by 18 inch piece of marble. We'll cut this diagonally with the provided fence. Our second cut will be hard porcelain. We will miter this long end here. Our third cut will be glass. And our fourth cut will be ripping this 24 inch hard porcelain. Here we go. Now this saw is loud, always wear ear protection. As expected, it cuts quick and clean. One thing to point out, beautiful pump, excellent water coverage and water spray on the blade. Let's move on to mitering hard porcelain tile. And there you go. Very clean miter, cut like butter in a hot knife. Yes, this saw can miter very, very well. Let's move on to glass. Yes, as expected, cuts glass, very clean as well. Time to rip a 24 inch hard porcelain tile. Okay, 24 inch rip, let's quickly check the accuracy. Five and a half. And five and a half. Yes, it can rip a 24 inch tile very accurately. Well, there it is, the Delta Cruiser. I've gotta say, I love it. This will be our new go-to saw. 24 inch rip capacity, strong motor, strong pump. The amazing gravity stand to help transportation, moving it from point A to point B. 
It's very light and compact for being a seven inch tile saw. It does everything a 10 inch tile saw can do. I've gotta say, hats off to Delta for making the cruiser. Now the price is where it's at. This is hundreds of dollars less than the Lockmon Beast. It's now available at Floor and Decor for $499 with a scissor stand. And it will be available online very shortly. I will always leave links in the description below for pricing and specs. And keep in mind, this is part one of a three-part comprehensive review. In the next review, we will compare this to the Lacmon Beast side to side. So until then, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.